इस्टिमेशन मेट्रोजन बाई जेल डाल मेथड सो दिस मेथड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आवर एग्जामिनेशन लेट एस प्रैक्टिस सम क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस मेथड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड वॉज ट्रीटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द जेल डाल मेथड द अमोनिया इवॉल्व वॉज एब्जॉर्ब इन फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव मोल आर टी एस टू एस फोर द रेसिडल एसिड रिक्वायर सिक्सटी एम एल ऑफ एम बाई टू सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन फाइन द परसेंटेज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इन द कंपाउंड सो बेसिकली फॉर टू फाइन द परसेंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन वी हैव फॉर्मूला इज वन पॉइंट फोर इन टू अ मिली इक्वलेंट ऑफ एसिड यूज मिली इक्वलेंट ऑफ एसिड यूज एंड डिवाइड बाय द वेट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड and whole will be multiplied by the hundreds this is there. so what is the mill equivalent of ac use so mill excess acid we have h2so4 excess acid h2so4 and this much acid is uh, reacted with the uh, neutralized by the remaining acid so what is the total acid so total acid will be your we can say uh, mill equivalent of ac is how much so it will be your 50 into 0.5 and multiplied by 2 so 2 is the n factor and molarity molarity is volume to n factor and for a base so base of is base uses how much so it is your 60 into uh, so 1 by 2 into 1 so it will be your 30 so total will be your 50 and 30 so any means a milli equivalent of acid used will be how much so it will be your 50 minus 30 means 20 means 20 amount of acid is neutralized by the ammonia so we can write Substituting the value one point four into this is twenty and divide by only compound zero point five and multiply by hundred. So on solving you will get answer fifty six percent. This is our answer of this question. Zero point four gram of an organic compound was treated according to the Jeldahas method. The ammonia evolved was absorbed in fifty ml of point five molarity is three fifty four fifty three. The residual acid required thirty ml of point five molarity calcium hydroxide. Find the percentage of nitrogen in the Compound. So again, uh, we use the same formula: percentage of uh, nitrogen that is equal to one point four into a milli equivalent of acid used uh, to neutralize the ammonia. It is used to neutralize ammonia and divide by weight of organic compound, weight of organic compound, and multiplied by hundred. Weight of acid will be how much? So it acid will be your here H three PO three is the you can say di basic acid. So you can see normality of uh, acid is uh, mill equivalent of acid is how much? Acid means H three PO four fifty into point five into to n factor is two. So total solving it is fifty. And again, if you need calcium hydroxide, so mill equivalent of calcium hydroxide. So this is uh, your thirty multiplied by point five into two. So this is your thirty. Means a uh, mill equivalent of acid used is used will be a uh, fifty minus thirty. This becomes your twenty. So twenty is the mill equivalent. You can substitute over here one point four uh, multiplied by uh, twenty and weight of the organic compound is point four and multiplied by hundred. So if you solve it on solving, you will get answer seventy percent. This is our answer. Point zero zero two gram of an organic compound was treated according to the Jeldahas method, and point two into ten power minus four moles of H two S four were required to neutralize the ammonia. So it is very clear percentage of ammonia nitrogen in the compound will be how much? So one point four we know that, and uh, yeah, so percentage of uh, this is amount of the H two S four were neutralized to ammonia is it is given here. So there is no need of calculation. Point two into ten power minus four and divided by the weight of the organic compound into Hundred. This is our formula. If you solve it on solving, you will get answer twenty eight percent. So basically, you have to remember the formula one point four for the nitrogen. This is the and this is the uh, mill equivalent of HCl H C to neutralize the ammonia. And this is the weight of the organic compound whole multiplied by hundred. So you will get this answer. One point two one six gram of the organic compound was reacted under the Jeldahas method, and the ammonia evolved was absorbed into the hundred mL. Normative H two S four. This is the excess amount of the H two S four. The remaining acid solution was weighed up to five hundred mL by the addition of the water, and the twenty mL of this dilute solution was required to thirty two mL of N by ten nitro sodium hydroxide solution for the complete neutralization. Calculate the percentage of nitrogen in the compound. Here, one tricky thing is they have mentioned only twenty mL is required this much. Means we have to calculate for the five hundred mL. Means if we have to write. Uh, 20 ml of a dilute we can say dilute uh, unreacted acid this is the unreacted 
acid solution uh, it is requiring how much sodium hydroxide so it is 32 into n by 10 amount of sodium hydroxide means if you take the 500 ml of the dilute uh, nitric acid so it becomes 32 divided by 10 into 500 and again divide by 20 so you will require how much 80 ml of uh, normality of sodium hydroxide so this is 80 ml of sodium hydroxide but the excess how much is given 100 ml so acid used for neutralizing ammonia is how much acid used to neutralize ammonia and uh, neutralize ammonia will be how much it will be 100 minus 80 ml that is 20 ml was utilized to, it is required to neutralize the ammonia now how to calculate percent nitrogen so percent nitrogen will be uh, it is 1.4 and the milliequivalent of acid use is 20 ml is a 20 equivalent sorry 20 milliequivalent so again uh, we have the 20 is there and uh, after 20 what is the uh, weight of the organic compound weight of the organic compound is 1.216 this is the weight of the organic compound and uh, uh, what is the this is normality so n factor will be 1 so I multiplied by again a thousand is the mill equivalent and multiplied by thousand so on solving you will get 23.03 percent so this is the answer of our question a sample of 0.2 gram of an organic compound was analyzed by the gel dahas method the ammonia evolved was absorbed in 60 ml of n by 5 h2so4 the unused acid required 40 ml of n by 10 sodium hydroxide for complete neutralization and find the percentage of nitrogen in the compounds. Again, we have formula percentage of nitrogen in the compound. I think whether 1.4 into uh, milli equivalent of acid used to neutralize the ammonia. It used to uh, neutralize ammonia uh, NS3 and divide by the weight of the organic compound used and multiplied by 100. So again, how much uh, uh, milli equivalent of acid used? So when we have acid is 60 into, so we have many plant of acid used acid used will be how much so total we have h2so4 is this much 60 into n by 5 and subtracting uh, how much is the uh, sodium hydroxide is 40 into n by 10 so if you solve it it becomes your 12 it becomes your 4 so this becomes your 8 so 8 we have is there so we can rightly write 1.4 into 8 and divide by this is up to n to 100 so on solving you will get here like a 56 percent in the estimation of nitrogen by the gel dahas method 2.8 gram of an organic compound required 20 millimole of a h2so4 for, for complete neutralization of ammonia gas evolved what is the percentage of nitrogen in the sample again a percentage of nitrogen in the sample is nothing but the 1.4 into uh, milliequivalent of acid used to neutralize the what ammonia is used to neutralize to neutralize ammonia and divide by the weight of the organic compound so again we can directly solve 1.4 a mini weight of acid use this how much given 20 millimole so 20 millimole means that uh, so your milli equivalent will be how much so 20 uh, millimole and uh, n factor of h2so4 is 2 2 is the n factor so it becomes a 40 milli equivalent so this becomes a 20 into 240 and divided by the organic compound is uh, given 2.8 gram and again whole which is multiplied by 100 so if you solve it so on solving you will get answer 20 percent 0.45 gram of an organic compound given combustion uh, or 0.792 gram of carbon dioxide and 0.3 to 4 gram of water so these two products are given out and 0.24 gram of the same substance was generalized and ammonia was liberated and this was absorbed in 50 ml of m by 8 h2 so4 and the excess acid means after the remaining h2 so4 which is required which is neutralized by the 77 ml of the n by 10 of sodium hydroxide for complete neutralization now you have to calculate the empirical formula of the compound so let us see we have to find the percentage of this uh, carbon hydrogen and uh, nitrogen from these three products that is uh, uh, this from the carbon dioxide from this one hydrogen from this one and the nitrogen from this compound and then uh, remaining oxygen and then we can find the empirical formula so percentage of carbon is how much percentage of carbon would be the formula is 12 by 44 because carbon dioxide is there so mass is this one so mass of co2 is released mass of co2 produced and uh, it is uh, divided by mass of the 
substance taken mass of the substance taken and this is equal to nothing but the 12 by 44 multiplied by 0 0.792 and divide by 0 0.45 so 45 is given that is the 45 gram and multiplied by 100 on solving you will get the percentage that is called 48 percentage of carbon tax this is carbon now we'll calculate for the hydrogen so percentage of hydrogen will be same so uh, hydrogen will be 2 gram and um, uh, in water uh, so total mass of the water is 18 gram and multiplied by mass of water produced so whatever the quantity is divided by the mass of the substance taken mass of substance taken this is the formula and just write the value so 2 by 18 mass of the water is taken that like a 3 point uh, 0 0.324 and divide by total mass is 0 0.45 multiply by 100 so in this way we will get the percentage of hydrogen similarly uh, percentage for nitrogen so nitrogen we know that 1.4 into milliequivalent of acid neutralized milliequivalent of acid neutralized uh, after the evolving of ammonia so neutralizing the ammonia divided by the mass of the organic compound taken mass of the organic compound taken so in this case multiplied by 100 so here we have to find the how much acid is uh, neutralized by the ammonium so if you see amount of acid is 50 ml by m by 8 so acid is milliequivalent of acid is how much this is the total f50 by m by 8 multiplied by n factor 2 so you will get here 12.5 similarly we have to calculate for the sodium hydroxide so milliequivalent of sodium hydroxide so on subtracting we will get the milliequivalent of ammonia neutralized so total is 77 and n by 10 mole factor is uh, sorry n factor of sodium hydroxide is 1 so on solving you will get 7.7 .7 means acid used acid which is reacted for the ammonia so acid reacted with ammonia is 12.5 uh, subtracting 7.5 so you will get answer 4.8 so this is the amount of ml which is neutralized so just substitute this value so you will get 1.4 into uh, 4.8 divided by 0 0.24 so only compound 0 0.24 is taken so you can see here is 0 0.24 then multiplied by so you will get answer 28 percent so now you will definitely get the percentage of oxygen so percentage of oxygen will be 100 minus 48 plus 8 plus 28 so you will get here 16 percent now you will we know the all percentage now we have to find the uh, empirical formula so now since we know the percentage so for, to find the empirical formula carbon is there hydrogen is there nitrogen is there and oxygen is there and their percentage given so this is your 48 this is your 8 this is 28 and this is 16 so what is the relative number of uh, atoms so it did get divided by the relative mass will be divided by the 12 8 divided by the 1 28 divided by the 14 and 16 divided by the 16 so you will get 4 8 and this will get 2 and this will be 1 now we have to find the simplest atomic ratio so simplest atomic ratio so to find the simplest atomic ratio we have to again divide by the smallest number that is 1 so 4 by 1 you will get 4 and uh, this will be 8 by 1 you will get 8 and again 2 by 1 you will get 2 and 1 by 1 you will get 1 so formula of in Baker formula of this compound will be C4 H8 and nitrogen 2 and oxygen 1 this is the empirical formula of the compound uh, for this equation so there is one more method uh, to find the estimation of nitrogen that is called Dumas method. So we will see this, this numerical, it is very easy. An organic compound was analyzed was uh, by Dumas methods and 0 0.45 gram of the compound on combustion gave 20, 48.6 ml nitrogen at 27 degree and 756 millimeter of pressure. Calculate the percentage of nitrogen. So this is the Dumas method. So in this method, so we'll use the this is the pressure is given volume is given you can see pressure volume temperature is given and we have to find the uh, organic compound at stp this compound of uh, uh, this volume we have to find stp so for stp we have the p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 and uh, p1 v1 we know that pressure is given how much so it is given here 760 and temperature is 273 and volume we don't know and for p2 if you take it it is nothing but the 756 and temperature is 300 327 centigrade 
A second temperature uh, volume, if you see, it is given 48.6 mm. On solving, you will get 43.9 mm. So this is the volume occupied by the organic compound, that is the nitrogen. So what is the percent of nitrogen? So nitrogen is nothing but the formula is 28 by 22,400 multiplied by V2 and it's the weight of the organic compound multiplied by 100. Just substitute this value 28 by 22,400. You have to remember this formula is very important and uh, volume is given 43.99 and divide by weight of the organic compound is 0 0.45 and multiplied by 100. So you will get answer 22.12.22 percent. This is the percent of nitrogen which is uh, found by the Dumas method. Now let us see second question in Dumas method of estimation of nitrogen 0 0.35 gram of the organic compound gave 55 ml of the nitrogen collected at 300 Kelvin and 750 millimeter pressure. So this is collected means it is collected above water. So this is definitely this is the moist gas. This is the pressure of the moist gas. What is the percent of nitrogen? Aqua tension of the water at 300 Kelvin is 15 millimeter. So definitely 715 is the moist gas. We have to find the pressure of the dry gas. So pressure of the dry gas will be how much? So definitely is subtracting 715 minus 15, you will get the 700 millimeter. Again, you apply the same formula. P1, V1 by T1 is equal to P2, V2 by T2. So P1 is how much? So 760 volume, we don't know, and temperature is given to 73 Kelvin. And in second case, pressure is 700. This is the millimeter pressure, which is the pressure of the dry gas. And uh, again, temperature is 300 Kelvin. And volume is given how much? So it is 55 ml is given. So now we can calculate this uh, V1 from here. So V1 you will get nothing 700 divided by 760 into 273 by 300 multiplied by 55. Now just use the formula percentage of nitrogen to estimate. So we know the formula 28 divided by 22,400 multiplied by uh, this is the volume of the nitrogen. This is the this is gas, and uh, next is the weight of the organic compound multiplied by 100. So substitute the value 28 by 22,400, and volume of the this gas list is this much value, full value 760 multiplied by uh, 273 divided by 300 into 55 this is the whole volume and again divided by the weight of the compound that is how much it is given 0 0.35 gram and multiplied by hundreds on solving you will get 16.46 gram so this is the gram of nitrogen present in the organic compound so this is our answer for this question